Hi, I'm Sherlo, your friendly neighborhood cellist, and this is going to be five things that every new string player needs to know before they start learning. All right, I get these questions a lot when I live stream, so I've compiled them to five great things and stick around to the last one because that's probably the one that took me the longest to learn. So here we go. First, find a teacher that you trust. Don't go online and look at 15 different videos of how to do a specific thing. Playing an instrument is quite complicated, so you need to find one source that you trust, that you like, and that will be from a reputable place, hopefully. That will be a music university, a music school, uh, maybe some group learning, maybe a group uh, music service in your area wherever you can find it and unfortunately you probably get what you pay for in this but you can be smart about it you can for example contact your music university and ask if they have some sort of teaching program where you have students who want to become teachers and they need maybe practice students so that's a golden tip right there check that out dos hit that like button <laughs> For the YouTube algorithm, uh, when you hit that like, you know, it boosts the video a little bit, spreads the message, why not do that? Now, two. Number two is you should not buy an instrument straight off. You should rent it. And absolutely don't buy it cheap from some mysterious online place where you have to, you know, assemble it when it comes to you. Is it whole? Is it cracked? Is it working? Are the strings? good or are they probably very cheap and bad skip all of that and before you invest too much into anything rent it so go to a music store or your local luthier start hunting down where you can actually rent one and they'll set it up for you right so that will be a much easier journey for you and you don't have to think about is my cello in this case working or violin working all right and they can also then give you everything you need from the small stuff to uh, rosin you know uh, your bow is fine all of those things okay the third thing is be consistent as with anything else in life unfortunately we have to be consistent right any sports any skill any anything that we have to improve try to just be consistent and i'm not perfect with this no one is but it needs to be said okay <laughs> now fourth you need to be kind and patient with this journey learning an instrument is not easy there's a reason why uh, people spend a lot of time money effort energy and finding a teacher that you bond with that works well that that could be a journey in itself and uh, building a skill like this uh, takes time so don't be too hard on yourself it will come just be patient and smart uh, and hopefully follow these tips as well now lastly this is the one that took me the longest the fifth tip that is to practice non-personal judgmental practice <laughs> let me rephrase that or show you an example i'm playing i do a mistake i do this and basically with that little motion i'm throwing judgment on myself and therefore uh i'm involving too much emotion for now you need to think about more cello playing and more clinically how you're actually going to improve it i'm a cellist so i'm also going to talk about cello here but this goes for it most other instrumentalists as well, right? So what do I mean still, if this sounds really rambly? Um, when you play and a mistake happens or something, it's a chance for you to improve. It's not something that you stop and judge yourself over. You would just either stop and calmly think over what happened or you just continue and then go back and think like, okay, I did X, let's try Z next time. Or I did this, let's try to improve this and skip this whole process of oh, this is uh, oh this is so bad uh, terrible or the opposite as well oh this is good I'm so great like you know that that whole thing is unnecessary we just need to be in the moment practicing clinically like oh this is good this, this that was not so good I can improve that 
I will go over that place again, and so on. I hope that makes any sense. That was the five things. That was quite quick, right? Painless. Now, check out the other videos here. I hope you will enjoy them. And I'll see you next time, either here on YouTube or maybe live on TikTok and other places. Okay, great. Bye.